I, I, I don't have... Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. This one is linked to the place over there. Logically speaking, if the Twatha were a regular place, they probably would have snuck in through here, given how it's not guarded. Father, I knew there was a trap and
had to come right around the corner immediately knowing where I am. They could take me around the corners like that.
based on his quiver takes it away from me. Scouting reports, and it appears they did not take it seriously. you would think.
because of this I was created from some point of stuff. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. But Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You. You're the one. Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming.
What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. The Fate Weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost, and all I foretell is the fate of my beer, and I see it being empty soon. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight.
You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yeovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. The Tawatha aren't like any Fae I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. And that would suggest what the thing or what they're doing are. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. 
Be cautious in the forest. There are dangers with sharp teeth, and many of them. All right. I'm ready for this damn water. Dida sells potions at the end, but they're not cheap. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave oh. all mortals. Oh. Are you playing a trick uh. on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally I'd decry the bloodshed, uh. but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. Uh. Oh. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Uh. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Idward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Tuatha were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted, and they are the enemy. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. The brothers of St. Odwig's are an odd sort scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a Fey will know how to heal a Fey. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure, but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. I'm the Warden of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been Warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured Fay on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. Hope you stay in town.
I don't know if what they say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs>
like him.
welcome. Welcome to Gorehart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Goodbye.
Jesus. In Jesus.